Hello, I'm Roxy O'Reilly. Welcome, and thank you for joining me for a cup of coffee. The first thing you're going to need is a cup. The ideal cup to read should be quite wide and preferably light coloured inside because some cups are more difficult to read than others. This is an excellent example. This cup is very narrow and rather difficult to read and sometimes a decoration on the inside of the cup can detract from the reading. The next thing that's important is to drink something you really enjoy. Suffering through a cup of coffee if you don't really enjoy coffee won't give you a great reading. When making my coffee, I prefer to use the plunger minus the plunger arm. This ensures that the coffee is loaded with plenty of grains and that the cup will provide a great reading. You can be sure to get plenty of grains if you stir the coffee just before pouring. Add milk or cream to your coffee, but steer away from sugar. When you're drinking your coffee, hold it in both hands. This is the time to think about your questions too. As you reach the bottom of your cup, it's important to keep just a little bit of liquid so we can move the grains. With this small amount of liquid, Start moving the coffee grains in the cup. More deliberate movement is recommended. The old fashioned way of swirling the cup creates a halo and doesn't often provide a really good reading. The next step is to tip the cup gently onto the saucer. I like to place the paper serviette on the saucer to catch any excess liquid and avoid making too much of a mess. This period is called resting the cup. It is important to leave the cup for just a moment or two so that all the excess fluid can drain out. When this has happened, it's time to pick up the cup and start the reading. If you prefer to drink tea, the best way to make a reading cup is to not use a pot. Instead, place about half to three quarters of a teaspoon of good quality leaf tea straight into the cup and add the hot water and milk and you'll be guaranteed the perfect cup of reading tea every time. Stay tuned for the next video which looks at how you read the cup and interpret the images. Wishing you all fun and insight.